Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here and welcome back to another Creepy Reviews video. And sorry it's been a month since I haven't made anything new, but now I'm back. This one we're going to review is by Bagnington, who is the one who made that awesome VHS tape series, which I haven't yet reviewed, but soon I will. I'll plan on reviewing that next time. But now he decided to make a new VHS series, which is based on Finance of Freddy's Mike the God Coffin. His first video is mostly called Until Tomorrow, which is somewhat similar to that line back in FNAF 4, which is Tomorrow's in Our Day. But now this one we're looking at is mostly about the crying child from FNAF 4, which is similar to the minigame version, but it's actually showing the crying child is actually in the room, same way how the minigame that he's mostly banging the door to try to get out while crying. Something is in there and he's mostly afraid in the room. But until he looks back at the suit, it mostly show another crying child. Something's different in that scene. Because while the crying child is popping up, a head of Fredbear appears. And it only shows one simple jump scare and it's over. We get to see the art version of the plush Fredbear. He said, Hello, friend. You look lost and scared. I got lost too. I couldn't find my mama. A bunny showed me the way home. Now I'm warned. Now I'm safe. You can be safe too. Until it shows a child's eyes until split into a broken look version of Fredbear showing a crying child's face with a smile look. And it's over. So what does this all mean? Well, well we all know this scene taking place in FNF 4 in the minigame for the crying child's story on why he was in that room. Because ever since his older brother locked him in that room. And while he tried to find a way out until that suit behind him appears a head popping out. That shows a crying child. Until a head which looks like Fredbear or maybe Spring Bonnie. Which it may not be confirmed yet. The reason that crying child was in fact explained in that suit. Like my Pat explains about there is a crying child stuff in that suit. But... It's probably a chance that that this Fredbear plush was in fact possessed by an kid, the one that was stuffed in the suit, and became the plush Fredbear. And he explained that he couldn't find his mama until the bunny suit, which is William Ampton wearing the spring bunny outfit, and mostly killed him, stuffed in that suit. In which he feels warm, safe, which means he's inside the suit and became a Freddy plush, which may not make sense yet. So that's how it started when this Freddy, when this Fredbear plush and Crying Child met. But it doesn't explain what's with the weather looking Fredbear. If that's actually the same Fredbear I'm trying that actually bit the child, or that is the f and I'm trying that the other child just possessed. So yeah folks, that's all I got for this creepy review, because this video is very short for me to explain. But I hope you enjoy. If you want more creepy reviews like this, Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. This is the Lord of Flames here. I will see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.